It's a great day for Kelly. It's because she's different. like the biggest yeah. Disney fan on the planet. Now listen, I like Disney, everybody does, but she's like, oh. And we have a Disney animator who turned into an illustrator and he's here, Tom Bancroft. Oh, we're so glad I'm you're here. I'm just excited to be here. here. We and, speak the same love language. And you're basically <laughs> always here because you live in Nashville. Yeah, I live here. I've lived here for the last 13 years. Now, how uh, long did, have you been an illustrator or animator? When did that all well, start? Well, probably like 30 years. I, I, I don't, I'm a lot older than I look, I know. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I grew up in California. I went to CalArts, which is a school that Disney founded, and then moved to Florida when they opened the Florida studio, the Disney studio there at Disney MGM, which is now Hollywood Studios. Worked there for 13 years, and I worked on Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Lion King, Pocahontas, Milan, Tarzan, about eight feature films. A when bunch you of shorts. work on those, do, can you feel it when you're when you're doing your sketch work? And and I don't even know how it's done today, of course, on computers. But yeah. can you feel how powerful it's going to be? Are you like, oh yeah, this is it? You know, I guess you do. I, you definitely get into it as I'm animating, and I created Mushu the dragon. Oh, so he's Eddie Murphy. He, uh, yeah, Eddie Murphy did the voice. Yeah. And so when I was animating Mushu, many times I would feel I, I'd have to be it in that moment. I mean, yeah, I'm just drawing. It's like watching grass grow. I'm drawing one frame at a time, but you get into that moment and the expression. I, I find myself making those expressions as I'm drawing them, and you just. That's what happens. You, you get into it so much that uh, you're in that moment, in that drawing. So you just did this book, which I, I find fascinating. Talk to us about this. Is, is it the first Instagram book? Or how I'm does claiming it, it as okay. the first yeah, ever we'll going exclusive with Instagram not gonna, book. Not going to yeah. uh, say no to that. Don't question it or try to make right. prove it. <laughs> That's right. But yeah, it's, uh, uh, so I created it on Instagram because I created a hashtag, Mermaid. And this was a year ago, and it blew up this year. And now, and what it was was it was a drawing challenge for artists all over the world to upload basically every day a drawing of a mermaid. And it's so it's a drawing challenge. It was to encourage people around the world to draw every day. People that were want to be artists or even professionals. And so last year it was big. This year it went even bigger. I had 150,000 people post. Uh, what? Yeah, put posts wow. up for, for mermaid all around the world, Russia, China, so you name it. So I could it. do it. I, if, I drew, you could too. if I drew a mermaid and took a picture of it and put it up on Instagram, I could be part of this whole well, thing? it gets even more exciting. We had some people that put on mermaid fins and put, took photos of themselves and hash, <laughs> used the I'm sure hashtag. that was exciting. So, <laughs> yeah, we know somebody know, in town. Too. We know a there, mermaid in town. There, mm -hmm. there are a few yeah. that are claiming to be mermaids. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, some of it gets weird, but most of it was fun and, and drawing based. And uh, so, this year I wanted to do something different, so I created a children's book, first ever on Instagram, as I said, hashtag. And, <laughs> uh, and it, so it's called The Mermaid Who Wanted to Fly. And so I created my own mermaid, an original character, and wrote the story, and then I posted every day an illustration and the text with that illustration oh. so that people could read every day the story by the end of the month, they would have read the whole thing. See, and that's so, that's, so where, cool. that's where when you explain an Instagram story, you go, yes. what? Well, you've got to follow it every day. Oh. And yeah. what a great way to get kids involved in reading in the way that they really want to read, yeah. which is on a tablet. Absolutely. Exactly. Right. exactly. And then you also have a podcast. We have to yeah. talk about that with I your twin brother. I have a twin brother, and his name's Tony, and we had the Bancroft Brothers Animation Podcast. He also was a Disney animator for many years, 12 years also, and also co-directed Mulan. And uh, so we do that every uh, every two weeks. A new one comes out. It's on iTunes, the Bancroft Brothers Animation Podcast. Oh, Go oh, check yes. that out. How fun and that you get to have all this magic and live here in Nashville. I know. I know. And now I live here in Nashville, and that's the great thing is I love Nashville. And so when uh, Lipscomb University came to me and said, we want to start an animation program, I was thrilled because uh, I've already written a couple books uh, on character design that mm. are used at art schools around the world, and and so it was a real big honor for me to step up. And, and you go. now you're ready. Coming kids, you're you can go to Lipscomb this. and you can help coach us. And we're I'm told ready. that you did some sketches. Okay, so I'm here we go. Thing. I'm more nervous than you. <laughs> but to Carol as a mermaid and oh, no, Kelly. Kelly. So much I can't I'm stand so it right you're now. That right oh now. my you goodness! Made, you just made my life. <laughs> I am framing no this. Other this is of amazing. Me ever to exist. Now, if you have kids <laughs> I too, I assume you do. Oh, I also did these for I your love kids. It. That's Zootopia <gasps> characters. I know. Yes. And there's my Mushu. Thank you. He's my baby. You're amazing. Oh thank you so much. Well, thank you. It's just been you a joy getting to know you guys. I'm yeah. cry. I got to bring drawings every time, though, right? No, you don't. Yes, you do.